O oh, Do Not Wanton With Those Eyes by Ben Johnson, 1572 to 1637. O oh, do not wanton with those eyes, lest I be sick with seeing, nor cast them down, but let them rise, lest shame destroy their being. O oh, be not angry with those fires, for then their threats will kill me, nor look too kind on my desires, for then my hopes will spill me. O oh, do not steep them in thy tears, for so will sorrow slay me, nor spread them as distract with fears, mine own enough betray me. <clears throat> okay, this is a poem by Ben Jonson. Um, he's an English playwright and a poet. He came from London, he had a classical education, and uh, he's one of the uh, in English greats. Um, let's see, his grandfather was in the service of Henry VIII, but uh, Johnson, he's from the um, Jacobean era. So what's this poem about? What is it saying? Well, I, I think it's talking about um, be careful with your emotions. Yeah, because your emotions can affect other people. Um, and I think he's talking to he's talking to um, a woman, and he's say, telling her to control her her emotions, yeah, because they can affect other people, and they can. They're talking about the power of um, one person's eyes over another, and the emotion in those eyes. So let's see. Let's. Um, Oh, do not wanton with those eyes, lest I be sick with seeing. Okay, so notice this is, is saying, don't be full of lust with your eyes. Don't look at me with lust. Don't look at me with desire. Um, because um, otherwise, I'm, it's going to make me feel sick. I'm, I'm not going to like you anymore. This isn't the right thing for you to do. Yeah. Um, nor cast them down, but let them rise, lest shame destroy their being. So, but also, don't look downwards, don't be downcast and depressed. Look at things, be confident, show self-confidence, um, because uh, that shame could destroy someone. So you need to, the things that you do with your eyes, be, be reasonable with them. They're things that you shouldn't do. Um, and he he's instructing this person to avoid certain looks avoid uh looking downcast because that could lead somebody to feel embarrassment and shame notice as well here how lest i be sick with seeing lest shame destroy their being this is an example of parallelism using the same line structure uh, within a poem. And also, if you actually look, lest I be sick with seeing, sick with seeing, this is syllabus, the repetition of the S sound. Oh, be not angry with those fires, for then their threats will kill me. So here, those fires, don't look at me angrily. Yeah, those fires. Don't look at me with fire in your eyes. Um, because this will make me feel threatened. This will make me feel that you could kill me, that you could kill me. And I don't want to feel that when I'm with you. Nor look too kind on my desires, 
for then my hope will spill me. So don't look at me too kindly. Don't be too generous with my plans. Yeah. Um, don't give in to all of my desires. Don't look kindly on the things that I want. Um, because too much hope will spill me. Too much hope, too much satisfaction will be bad for me. Yeah. If you tell me that everything I do is fine, then this is also going to spill me that it's a, it's not going to be good for me. Oh, do not steep them with my tears, for so will tomorrow slay me. So to steep is to, to uh, soak in water, to fill. So don't steep your eyes, don't fill your eyes with tears, don't cry too much. Um, because that, though you crying is something that will, will, will kill me. It will make me feel that I, I want to die. Yeah. Because I don't want to see you terribly upset. Nor spread them as distract with fears. My own enough betray me. So don't show fear in your eyes as well. Yeah, don't be overcome with sadness in your eyes, but also don't show your fear in your eyes because I've, I already have more than enough of my own fears, um, to deal with because my fit, my own fears are enough. So this poem, this is, is quite a strange poem. Let's see. What, what's the meaning? It's saying that, um, uh, the emotions of one person can affect somebody else. And the speaker is, is saying, please avoid fear and lust and sadness, uh, and other things when you are with me. Yeah. Um, and, uh, the, the 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 person who's saying the poem is worried that how other people are going to react to seeing those emotions in this person's in in this person's eye and it's about whether or not that these emotions should be shown so enough if you enjoyed the video give it a rating subscribe to my channel and i will see you soon Bye for now. Oh, do not wanton with those eyes by Ben Johnson.